Hello everyone, this is Pam with Pam $7.47 and I'm coming at you today on Tuesday, March 13th, just to share with you a transaction that I did at CVS after work today. Um, I did purchase the Dial Body Wash. If you recall from my last video on Sunday, I did mention that I wanted to do this deal on Sunday, but I ran out the house and forgot my coupons that I printed from coupons.com on my printer. So I stopped over there today after work to make this purchase. So um, the transaction didn't go as, as I expected. Um, and I, I'm kind of feeling a, a certain way about that. And I don't even know what kind of way, but the only way I can kind of envision that, you know, the CVS executives, you know, they're, they're surfing, um, YouTube, they're watching all of our videos that we post about the coupons we're using and how our deals are working and we're getting a lot of stuff for free or cheap or, you know, um, just paying little or nothing for a lot of the products that we're getting. And so I think they're coming up with ways to try to prevent that from, you know, happening. Um, so I'll explain that to you in a minute, but I think there's, this is just the beginning of, you know, changes that they're going to be making with their coupon policies. And I think things are going to start working out um, a lot differently um, for us to come. So the dial body wash, I'm going to explain the way I was expecting it to work and then the way it ended up working for me. But I, I, as you can see, I went ahead and, and did the deal because it was still a savings, but it wasn't, um, you know, as good as it could have been. So the dial body wash was two for six dollars. Now there's no ECBs attached to this. You just basically use whatever coupons that you have. I had the two dollar off of one coupons from coupons.com, and then I had a two dollar off of a six dollar red box coupon for a body wash. So after using those coupons, it would take four dollars off. So I was expecting to pay two dollars out of pocket, but then I'm getting a dollar back from Saving Star because there's a rebate on there if you purchase the dial body wash or the hand soap. Or the body soap you will get a dollar back saving star rebate so with that rebate it'll end up costing a dollar for two or fifty cents each which that's what I was expecting to pay and I was fine with that however I was only able to use one of my dollar off of one coupons because one of the body wash rang up for 579 and the other one rang up for 21 cents so when he went to scan my second dollar off of one coupon it beeped so he's reading the coupon it's like i don't know why that didn't work so then he's looking at the register and the register is telling him that that coupon exceeds the value of the item so he's like oh it's only ringing up 21 cents and i'm like what's ringing up 21 cents and so he turns the register the cash register screen around and he shows me that one is ringing up 579 and the other one is ringing up 21 cents so you can't use that dollar off coupon on that 21 cents item. So I think they're do deliberately doing this, like having the prices ring up that way. Now I know they're not gonna ring up, you know, exactly $3 each because I think on some stuff, if you just buy one, you know, you'll pay a little bit more for it. Um, you know, instead of buying the two, like if this was two for six, one, you know, they wouldn't each ring up $3, like one may ring up, you know, I don't know, $3.79 or $4 and the other one to bring up $2 or whatever. But this is drastically different. You know, it's $5.79 for the first one and 21 cents for the second one. So that way you can't use that additional coupon. So on this transaction, I still was able to use that two off of six. So my coupons only took $3 off. So I paid $3, but I'll be getting back that dollar from Saving Star. So it's two dollars for two or a dollar each, which, I, like I said, it's still a good deal because, you know, ordinarily it would have been, you know, um, you know, higher. Uh, especially if I just bought one, it would have been that probably that five seventy nine. But um, so it still was a deal. But like I said, I think this is probably the beginning of like changes that they're going to be making because I just think that we're just getting entirely too much stuff for really cheap or free. And so they're trying to, you know, think of ways to um, prevent that. So, um, you know, just let me know if, if anyone did this di dial deal and how it worked out for you. But I just wanted to share how this worked out for me. Another thing I want to mention too, 
is that um, if you do this deal, don't get that blue dial. It's a new one. It's like this Manuka Honey, but it's called C something. Um, that is not part of this sales promotion of buying two for $6. That one is ringing up the regular price of $6.29. And I noticed that because at first I was going to get it, but then I noticed by all of the other dial body wash that was on the shelf, they had the two for six price. But for that one, the... Um, I can't remember the name. It's called C something. And I bought one before last, I think last week or the week before. Um, that isn't part of this deal. And that made me think, because if you watch my um, previous video when I did the dial, I think at the time it was buy one, get one free. And um, it charged me for both of them. So I had to end up taking it back and letting them see that one should have rang up for free. So she ended up force printing me a $7 ECB. But I think it was because I got that blue one, that that blue one wasn't part of that deal. And like this one, like this deal, that wasn't part of the sales promotion. So if you decide to do this deal, don't get that blue one or at least take it to the um, coupon center machine and just scan it to make sure that it scans the two for six price. Um, so that's all I wanted to mention about that. Also, I wanted to mention that someone had pointed out, uh, had sent me a, um, a message and have pointed out in my last video from Sunday that Garnier was supposed to be ringing, uh, supposed to be buy two, get back five dollars. And they asked if I got five dollars back in the ECB because they only got three dollars back. And I checked my receipt because it didn't even dawn on me. I just, you know, did the deal and read it off like I was expecting it to work, but I didn't really double check my receipt to make sure that that five dollar ECB printed. And lo and behold, it did not. So um, I did respond to let that person know that my $5 ECB did not print either and it only printed me a $3 ECB. So I will be, because of this thing that happened here today, like I said before, I think I said if, you know, some deals, you know, might not work out exactly how you expect it or whatever. So if I'm short a dollar or $2 or whatever that I was supposed to got back from a deal or whatever, I was just going to let it go because I didn't want to keep calling in the customer service with every little transaction that, you know, that gets messed up. So I was just going to let it go. But since, you know, and I did that Garnier deal twice. So that's like $4 that I'm due back. So because they're getting slick with this and I wasn't able to use that dollar um, coupon, I will be calling customer service after I'm done with this video and I will be getting my two dollars back for each of those Garnier. So usually in the past, what they would do was they would just um, send it to your card. So the next time you go into CVS and scan your card, that two dollars will print out. So um, I will be doing that. So I was going to. I didn't even think about putting my receipt out. Oh crap! I was just going to show you on my receipt how this ended up ringing up for me on my receipt uh, sorry I just dropped my little coupon binder but let me see if I can get my receipt and show you how that worked out uh, okay I'm just trying to hold down my card number on here okay so this is how it rang up. As you can see, one for $5.79 and the other one for $0.21. Cents. So they only let me use that dollar off coupon. There's my $2 off of six body wash and then I was using a $2 um, ECB to pay for it. So I had to end up paying a dollar out of pocket, excluding the tax. So, and then I know on my receipt, I did end up getting $3 back in a uh, beauty bucks. They printed on my receipt as well. So, um, how about that? Okay, guys. So, like I said, let me know if anybody um, did this dial deal, and let me know how it worked out for you. So, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, or night, and I will talk to you soon.